Hey y'all, so we are live on the Ashura Star Goddess channel. Um, I kind of changed the name recently just to Ashura Goddess um, because I have another channel called Ashura Star, which is my beauty channel, and a lot of people are getting those confused, so there we go. Also, thank you if you are new and subscribed here. If you just found this channel through the other channel, Sprinkle Sprinkle, how are you? So today we're going to be talking about Divine Feminine Era. Okay, so we are now in the divine feminine era, as you can tell. Um, there are lots of ladies, lots of women doing the most, getting the most, enjoying their life, and not really caring what other people think, and um, no longer, um, you know, subservient to any type of patriarchal thinking unless they choose to, or unless they use the patriarchal thinking to their advantage. So um, a lot of ladies are now in their divine feminine era, which means they are putting themselves first. They are allowing themselves to be in their feminine, allowing themselves to, you know, um, get what they want, use their intuition, use their feminine wiles and wit to get what they want. And this is our era, okay? So don't um, don't feel like it's a bad thing because it's really a good thing. If you think about it, most of the stories in religion and spirituality start off with some type of issue with a woman. The man can't have the woman. The woman don't want you know to do this. Da, da, da. It's always some type of issue with women and man. How all this spirituality stuff starts out. But the last laugh always goes to the woman because she's your way in. <laughs> okay. So it's very important to honor the divine feminine and everyone. So your mother, your sister, yourself, your daughters, whoever. Uh, and it's very important that our respect is given because. We all know that when people don't respect women, things never go their way. They never go their way. They got to remember where they came from. And that is the one of the most important things. This is why in religion, you know, they honor, um, you know, the divine feminine. Um, I guess in the Christian religion, they honor Mother Mary or, you know, the um, honoring the mother, the story of, you know, the uh, birth of Jesus or whatever. They always have to honor the mother first because that's where they came from. Any man that walked on this planet came through a woman first, period. And so any man that has the audacity to fix their mouth against the actual vehicle that allowed him to even exist to utter such words, should, those words should be of honor, period. <laughs> and so a lot of people don't realize this when they disrespect women. People that disrespect their women the most, especially men who disrespect their women the most, you can see it in their lives. Men who honor their women or women, you can see it in their lives. A reflection of how they treat a woman is the reflection of their lives, okay? So... The next time you see someone and their life is not going well and it's not very, it's not going very good, chances are that man does not respect woman <laughs> or that woman doesn't respect herself, period. And the divine feminine era is learning that respect, learning how to give it, learning how to demand it and learning how to maintain it. So. That's why I'm on this channel today, because this is more of a talk about the divine feminine and why people have to acknowledge it, period. Because people forget sometimes. They just forget because, you know, they don't know any better. They just forget. They forget where they came from, literally. And you can come from a state, you can come from a country, you can come from a different planet, but chances are you still came from a woman first and foremost. So 
And we already know that, you know, you have to, you got, yeah, you got you to gotta give respect to the creator. And that person on earth, as it is in heavens, is, is a woman. So you, you should do that. Even if you are a woman, respect yourself. Treat yourself divine. Don't settle for the, don't settle for less than what you know you're supposed to have. Okay. Um, a lot of times, you know, and a lot of people say, well, what about the divine masculine? What about the divine masculine? And they're always asking me this when we bring up the divine feminine. Go read the Bible. <laughs> Go read every religious text if you want to know about the divine masculine. They seem to like to blame the, the, the woman for everything. And, and in my opinion, if you're going to blame everything on a woman, you're not that powerful. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So if all the blame is to go to a woman, then so should all the credit and the power. And the, the reason why I'm saying this is because if your only excuse and your only weakness and your only cause of anger is a woman, then that means, guess what? more powerful. <laughs> if it takes one woman to disrupt your entire plan of perfection, guess what? So the divine feminine is what people need to focus on because that is what's going to get you knowledge. That's what's going to get you um, financial increase, uh, that is what's going to get you, you know, whatever you need to thrive because that's where life begins. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, you said what you can literally make and break a man. Okay. And a lot of guys. Okay. So I'm not, I'm not downing guys. I'm just saying, Respect the divine feminine. Respect the reason, the very reason you breathe. That's it. Um, no matter how you feel about her decision making, she's still a means to earth for life. Period. Whether she decides to have children or not. Okay. That's our prerogative. That's our choice. See, that's how much power you have. You can say, I'm a woman. I bear all the parts to create life uh, on this planet. And still, I can choose not to. Period. So, make sure you realize that. Because a lot of a lot of people don't realize that they were just one decision away from not being here. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know, and it always goes back to the mother. And if you study symbolism, everything is, you know, everything feminine is water. So you have the depths of the ocean. You have the water in the sky, as above, so below. And you have the water in the womb. Then you have holy water. So, and and seventy percent of what makes up a human body is literally water. So you know we have a lot of. We have a lot of um, water symbolism going on, especially in religious texts and spiritual texts, because water represents the divine feminine. Okay, and without water, you can't live. So, without water, you can't grow in a womb. Without water, you can't even be conceived. So, for y'all creationists out there, without the ocean, you can't even have life, right? 
Some of the most ancient goddesses are water goddesses, mermaids, etc. So I feel like this is why people need to really wake up and honor the divine feminine and stuff instead of try to fight it. You can't fight where you came from. Okay, you can't fight what gets you here. Otherwise, you'll lose that battle quick. Um, women know this, men know this, but they continue to try to use, uh, you know, religion to brainwash a lot of women out of their divine feminine era. And that will never happen because even at the end of a lot of religious texts, especially in the Bible, it still has a woman in there doing the most. A couple of women. And the divine age, the divine feminine era, because remember, women are not just one way. Okay? Women don't have simple ways of doing things. We are very complex and complicated creatures. So <laughs> that's another thing. You said men try to make us forget when you're young and you get brainwashed. Yeah. Yeah. But if you know the symbolism, this is why it's very important to know symbolism because you may be reading a religious text. You may be reading whatever, but when you see the word water in church, or a temple, that's a woman. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. Um, or that relates to the divine feminine. Okay. So they may they may exclude a lot of women out of religious texts, but they use code words. Yes, water, womb, church, woman, body. Da, 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 da. Okay. So just learn to recognize the key symbol words in your religion or whatever spirituality that you claim or work with to recognize the divine feminine symbolisms in there. Yes. Water, baptism, rebirth. Da, 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 da. Um, even like, yes. So there's always that divine feminine um, that allows life to stay to be maintained and to thrive okay you re recently dropped all your religious beliefs and started learning about the occult wonder about cat he recently became a christian and got baptized wonder what got her to do okay step sprinkle sprinkle um whatever religion that you whatever religion or spirituality or occult learnings that you learn it's always going to go back to the divine feminine all of them everything you touch spiritually will always go back to the divine feminine. So no matter what religion, what whatever you go and learn about, it's always going to begin and end with a woman, period. Now, I think some people choose to change their religion based on um, their own upbringing. And um, they may change their religion and uh, based on what works for them at the time. Because at any time you can change right back, go back. But whatever you learn, it's always going to go back to the divine feminine. Uh oh, uh, ZT, sprinkle, sprinkle. Yes. So take any religion and it's always going to go back to the divine feminine. No matter what it is. So it doesn't even matter what you worship, who you worship. They all came out of a woman. And they all, you know, you can't, they couldn't have got here without her. Period. So. And if, if you are, let's say, if you're a Christian or Catholic or something like that, most people honor the divine mother, Mary, okay, the mother of Jesus, because without, without him, there is no her. I mean, without her, there is no him. So those of you who wear a cross and believe in Jesus and pray to Jesus, you know, remember, Jesus got here through a woman, sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> and there wouldn't be no Jesus without no Mary. And somebody had to raise him and teach him and who you think it was. Okay. If you believe in Jesus, if you believe in somebody, whoever, they all had a mama who taught them. 
Okay. You see, back in the old days, women couldn't get credit. Women were looked at as less than. And so a man had to deliver probably most of their messages. Because most of the time that men were talking, they probably heard it from a woman. They probably heard it from their mom or their auntie and their mom and their grandma and their mom. If it made sense, they added it to their speech or whatever. Because women couldn't do that stuff back then. Okay, and nobody would, no one would listen unless it came out of the mouth of a man. Because at that time, they were trying to get out of paganism from goddess worship because so many people worshiped goddesses. And they were trying to switch over the, um, you know, the pagans who literally had goddesses and gods and honored the divine feminine into a more patriarchal society. So that's when all of those things started happening when they tried to you know, silence the woman and blame things on her and make her seem like she's less than a man. But mostly all the knowledge that they preached came from women. Can you upload more witch content, spells, tips, perks, perks? There's a playlist for that if you just go in the playlist area. Um, so definitely check that out. Mm -hmm. Women have, thank you for the donation, by the way, Miss Media. So, and whoever goes back to what religion, you know, it could be for PR purposes. It could be for money purposes. It could be because that's what they were raised as. And they went back for nostalgia because they explored all the other options and realized that it always goes back to the woman anyway. No matter what religious you go to and from, it's always going to get the woman. Always going to go back to the woman. And a lot of women, a lot of people don't like when people figure out um, all the code words for women in the Bible or the religious texts, because really, if you read something, it'll always go back to the divine feminine. And, uh, if you know how to read between the lines and metaphor and symbolism, you already know what it is. So whatever you believe, it doesn't matter. As long as you honor the divine feminine within yourself and within, within others, within others, you're good because that's where all your creative energy comes from, your feminine. Okay. I said you're seeing an uptick in trans women because of the divine feminine taking over. Yeah. Well, when something is suppressed so long, it will find a way to uh, bring itself out. Um, thank you, Nivea. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You watch all the videos? Thank you, girl. I appreciate it. Maybe I'll come out with something soon. We'll see. You know, I got to be in the mood. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Honor the divine feminine by honoring the divine feminine in your life. So it could be your whoever is closest to you as a woman or it could, if you're a woman yourself. Um, maybe learn more about women um, or different types of goddesses or examples of divine feminine or just support women, businesses or whatever. Whatever you want to do, just do it all. <laughs> okay. Um, the greater picture, okay, what's the greater picture behind represent Saturn, the cube, black Madonna, make a box. What's those choose to represent the meaning? A box, baby. Is that what they call uh, something else down there? Sparkle, sparkle. The dark matter. The void from which you come life through the darkness of the womb. You know, the portal. Ah, so and then they make a circle around it. <laughs> okay, the black hole. So, you know, it always, always goes back to the woman, no matter who tries to, no matter who tries to change it, it will all, you will always find the, the divine feminine back at the source, period. And I know a lot of people say, well, what about men and, you know, uh, their sperm and things like that? 
Did you know that most, and I, I said this in one of my videos, so most of the men's DNA from their offspring and their sperm comes from their mitochondrial DNA, which is from their mother, mother's DNA. So most of what they produce is from their mother, not the father. So you said Earth is literally named after a goddess. True. So if the Earth is literally named after a goddess, and the earth gave you life. And they call it Mother Earth, of course. Divine Feminine. Thanks for your inspo. I'm selling Ma'at Tapestry on Amazon. Declare souls and profit. Continue to grow. Quit your corporate job to raise your baby. Okay. 42 Ma'at, sprinkle, sprinkle. Yes. You know, um, being a mother, whether you're a mother or not, um, being a mother type figure, always means putting those children as a priority because, uh, you know, that's what mothers do. Your child is your priority and your job is to make sure that they're okay. They get what they need and they, they are, um, you know, learning what they're supposed to learn and they feel loved and all that kind of stuff because they have to grow up to be people in the world. And if they don't get the correct type of, you know, um, divine feminine, Feminine mothering, it could also alter the way that they interact with other people and how they respect women and how they don't respect women. For example, a lot of people that are raised by single mothers see those types of women as super women, strong women, women that are disciplinarians, uh, if that's what their mothers were. They expect the most out of women because that's what they've seen the most out of their mother. In this day and age, you know, uh, most people look down upon single mothers because of that. That oh, where's the daddy? Why didn't the daddy stick around? Da, 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 da. Um, for whatever reason, right? But if you are expecting the woman to do her job and the man's job, which she does a lot of the time, you're obliterating the divine masculine by expecting her to be both, which she can be. So you're literally emasculating yourselves as men when you think a woman should do more than what she is supposed to do. And when I say supposed to do, I mean more than what most women are supposed to do in this day and age. So for example, if you think, um, okay, being a single mother is um, easy and that all women should work 12 hours a day, full-time jobs, raise kids by themselves, pay all the bills, do this, do this, do that without, you know, the help of a man, um, you know, she can definitely do that. But when you think that is the norm, that's when you emasculate yourself as a man. Because you take your role, your entire role out of the situation and you place her as a superhero, the divine, all-knowing goddess. And since there are a lot of single mothers, that's the energy that's being given off in this era. Okay? Sprinkle, sprinkle. So, for example, in, in the Bible, when Mary was pregnant, um, her, um, the guy that was supposed to marry her, Joseph, he was not going to marry her. He said, mm, that ain't my baby. All right. And he's about to leave, break off the engagement, but he's going to wait a little while. So an angel came to him and said, don't leave her, stay with her that, you know, she's going to have a famous baby. Basically, I'm just, I, you know, I'm paraphrasing, So he stayed. But a lot of times people don't realize, you know, a lot of the stuff in the Bible, people got premonitions and dreams. Girl, he was asleep and she was she was like whispering in his ear, stay, stay or stay with Mary. She's a good woman. She, what she says is true. Girl, he was in his like half sleep and half wake state. So, you know, she subliminally, <laughs> subliminally told him, you know, stay and, you know, be my husband and take care of his baby. So he was like a stepdaddy, right? 
So that's just like, think about this. Let's say uh, your woman got pregnant and uh, by another man and you decided to stay and raise that baby. And he grew up to be like, you know, a famous person. You'd be glad you stayed, right? <laughs> so I think that was an example to like honor women in the divine feminine instead of going by the stupid laws or stupid what the stupid society says because didn't you get here by a woman and who are you to say that a woman is um you know who are you to judge a woman for what she does and how she brings life upon this planet sprinkle sprinkle that is not your job so in some places still, and in some areas now, you get pregnant outside of wedlock, it's illegal. Illegal. Who are you to tell somebody when they can give life or not give life? That's my question. You have no authority. And when the divine feminine realizes, you know, people don't have authority over how life gets to this planet or not. You know, when you want to control something so bad because you can't create, that is a problem. And so that's why in the divine feminine era right now, women are waking up and they're realizing it. We gonna do what we want, no matter what. Even in the old days, they still try to control you. How they trying to control what you can do with your body? They can try to control whether you can have uh, children out of wedlock, in wedlock, you know, da, 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 da. Well, if you decide as a woman, to bring life upon this planet that is your divine feminine nature to say, I, I'm doing this, period. Whether you like it or not, how it got in my womb, it don't matter. Hopefully they got some money. Uh, the man got some money. So, you know, you don't have to suffer. But it's still nobody's business. That's your business. Okay. Um, a lot of men say, I, okay, now let's go into this. A lot of men will say, well, okay, I don't want to have kids or I don't want the baby, get rid of it. Or a lot of men will say, have my baby, but I don't want to be your husband. So you have all these different scenarios. So what do you do? You do what's best for you and your child. That's the answer. You do what's best for you. And you child. So, for example, if you lay down with a Dusty and he ain't got no money, he ain't got two cents to rub together, he's got a bad life, there's no way that, uh, you know, that's your decision whether to have that man's child or not. If he has money and a decent, you know, job and y'all could, you know, thrive and stuff, then you're probably more likely to have the baby. But remember, it's still her ultimate decision, no matter how you feel as a grown man, no matter how you feel, that woman will decide whether you become a daddy or not. Let me repeat that. That woman will decide if you become a father or not <laughs> to her baby. Anyway, you might be a father to somebody else's baby, but still. That woman also chose for you to become a father. Because, see, you can't become a father unless a woman brings a baby into the planet. So you, there, there is no father without the mother. Period. And y'all already know that. So there's only someone who has had relations. But you can't be a father until I'm a mother. Aha. Uh -huh. So who came first, the mother or the father? That's how you know it always goes back to the divine feminine. If you can prove it in every area, science, uh -huh. if you can prove it in, you know, philosophy, what's the, the first thought, the first you know, reasoning. It's always going to go back to the divine feminine because you can't, you can't get here and you can't even be deemed a father or a son unless you come out the mother. And this is why they try to reverse it. You can't get 
to the father unless you go through the son. No, you can't you can't become a father or a son unless you come out the mother. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. Uh oh. J Jad Jadzi Hearts. Jad Jadzi Hearts. Thank you for the super sticker. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I appreciate you. You said that's why the woman is right, even when she's misunderstood. Yes, because everything you're looking at, she created. <laughs> okay. Mm -mm -mm. Have I changed my views on having a baby? No. I My thing is, if you can have a baby in wedlock, do it. Because that guarantees money and safety for your child most of the time. But if you decide to have it outside of wedlock, you still have that right and that authority. That doesn't mean that it's going to be the best life ever. It just means you still decided that man and that Dusty going to be a daddy or not. Okay. <laughs> Either way, you know, for me, I, you know, I don't want my, I'm thinking about other things, but it's still my decision to make someone into a father or not. Think about it. Light and dark feminine, all the same. Feminine, period. There ain't no light and dark. It's just only feminine. Okay. Y'all always want to separate the two, and there's not a separation. There was never a separation. People always want to say, oh, you're a good woman, or you're you're evil, you're bad. No, we're both, because when we have to be both, that's what we got to do. So there is no light or dark. There's only feminine energy, the feminine energy. That's it. If you look at a human body, and you look at the light side of the human body and the dark side of the human body. What's the dark side? Is it the inside? Is the light side on the outside where light can reflect off of it? Like, what's the difference? It's still a body. It's the whole thing. And so respect the divine feminine as a whole and, and stop trying to divide her. She's not, she ain't going to be divided. She, gonna, she said what she said. Okay. <laughs> Um, now, if you get on her good side, she'll treat you nice. You know, you ever make a woman happy? She, she the nicest person in the world. You make one mad, you better run. Okay. <laughs> That's just how it is. It's like the ocean. Think of the think of the ocean as a woman. There are calm seas, beautiful, clear waters. But when she get mad. When the ocean gets upset, when it's bothered, it turns into something totally different. Doesn't mean it's bad. Doesn't mean it's good. It's just, you know, that's what it is. So, um, your greatest, your great grand nana said. If you have to be a bitch, the biggest bitch, be the best, biggest bitch and best you can be. <laughs> I'd say if you have to command respect, then command it in the biggest and best way you can command it. Sprinkle, sprinkle. But yeah. So. A lot of women take the back seat or a lot of women allow their man to shine if he's doing right by her. Ooh, let's get into that. A lot, a lot of men don't realize and unless you do right by a woman, you can't even shine. You can't shine, period. There's nothing you can do to shine unless you're doing it for a woman or doing right by a woman. Think about that. This is just the realization. We're not trying to say who's better and who's worse. We're just trying to tell you how it is. Nothing you do as a man. If a woman doesn't recognize you or applaud you in any way, you don't shine at all. So. 
if a woman doesn't allow you into her body, you never become a father. You never procreate, never spread your seed. If a woman doesn't allow you, then you remain as what is just as how you were born, a son. So Uh, being a father is literally a gift given to you by a woman. Because she's the only one that can give that to you. She's the only one that can give you that gift to even allow yourself to be a father. And also the only woman that can give you the gift of being a son is also a woman. The only person that can allow you the gift of life is a woman. The only person that can allow you to give the gift, to receive the gift of being a father is also a woman. So, and I know you can say the opposite as a man. Well, the only way that you're going to get a child is through a man. And the only way you're going to do this is through a man. No, through your sperm, not, not the man. We don't, you don't have to grow us. We have to grow y'all. We have to take y'all to turn. We have to feed and nourish our bodies. We have to name you, take care of you when you are crawling on the floor helpless. We decide whether you're going to make it to this planet or not after you are, uh, you know, inseminated. We decide if we want to take a plan B pill. We decide all of that. So um, we decide to make you a father. Now, of course, it goes both ways. Yes, you need to be fertilized, but at the same time, you can unfertilize yourself, okay? Sprinkle, sprinkle. And so that is what I'm talking about. You said men live longer with, longer with wives. You will less likely die with a woman doctor. True, true, true. All of those things are true. So remember, you don't have to go around talking about how powerful you are as a woman. It's already known. It's in their DNA. Everybody knows how powerful women are in their DNA. They automatically know. That's why there's so much brainwashing to try to unprogram that. But it's always going to go back to the mother and the woman. So um, whatever you do, especially women who have been um, verbally abused or brainwashed or who have low self-esteem because people don't want you to realize your divine energy, your divine power. Forget all of that and remember where it starts and where it ends. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> and remember who you are. And then no one will ever, ever be able to tell you anything. Okay, especially a guy. It's, um, my mentality. I'm gonna tell y'all because a lot of people's like, "Well, how do you think like this?" Because I know who I am. And if a if someone dare fixes their mouth to talk to me in some sort of way, I are you know what I'm thinking? Without without someone like me, you won't exist. Okay. Like Beyonce said, God complex. God is complex. And that's not a bad thing. Because if if somebody is constantly trying to make you forget who you are to, and to love yourself and to respect yourself and to demand respect from others so that they can control you or disrespect you or, you know, exploit you in some sort of way, you have to remember it. You got to remember, even if it's having a goddess complex, it's better than... Uh, having low self-esteem and not knowing who you are. Okay. Mm -hmm. So even, okay. So if men want to honor the divine feminine, treat your woman right. That's all you got to do. Make her happy. That's it. Provide. Don't be talk, talking about the economy and how you can't, don't be coming up with no excuses because she ain't came up with, with no excuses for how you got here. <laughs> Okay. 
She didn't come up with no excuses of why you couldn't eat today. You know? So listen. Just treat her, just treat her like she's supposed to be treated. And you know, the funny thing is, if women if men treated women how they're supposed to be treated, they would have probably less problems in the world from every angle. All right. How can women honor the divine feminine to attract abundance and stability? They are abundance and stability. We are abundance and stability. We don't have to attract it. We are it. We can, we can attract it from other people to give us more, but we already are abundance. Okay. Because like we can literally multiply. <laughs> So therefore, we are abundant in every way. We can literally create. We are the more creative force. So we are. We can take something and make more out of it. We can take a piece of fabric and create a beautiful, you know, outfit. We can take something and that people would not, you know, deem as valuable and make it priceless. So we are abundance. We have to tap into our creativity and our divine feminine. And it's hard to do when you are sitting there living with a grown man who's making you work eight to 12 hours a day where you can't tap into it. Okay. Um, you have to be comfortable, rested, and you're living in your feminine to be able to bring out some of those ideas. This is why in some of these workplaces, they have a more relaxed environment now, a more zen or chill environment in some of these creative workspaces, um, because that is what allows people to, you know, come up with more creative ideas when they're not stressed, when they can rest, when they can do what they want, when they want, take breaks, and, you know, and not so demanding. So when when you have that time and energy to just sit down and think sometimes creative ideas are able to flow, you know, your intuition is able to, you know, be heard because you're not so busy, you know, trying to block everything out to get something done on a list. Okay. So that's why we need to encourage more creativity, especially from ourselves, from our children. Um, even if you are, you know, going on a date with, with somebody, um, you know, so let's say you're in a relationship and you're trying to look for more interesting types of dates to go on, go on some creative dates, go on those dates where they teach you how to paint or, you know, do something together and sculpt something. I don't know. Go to the museum and look at art um, after you go out, you know, to dinner or lunch or something, but add creativity in your daily lives because that is part of the divine feminine creation, creativity. Okay. Oh, somebody cash at Davin, sprinkle, sprinkle. He, uh, he even cashed at. I appreciate that. Let me look. Maybe there's a message. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay, just, just a, a nice sprinkle, sprinkle. Uh oh. Let's see. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate that. Half right records. That was you. Okay. I appreciate that. <laughs> so I guess I'll let y'all ask a few questions because I've spoken. I guess now y'all can teach me something by asking some questions. Sometimes I, I learn through a lot of um, questions too. Okay. When you say to a guy that say hit me when you're free so we can catch up, girl, I'm not listening to that. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That's not how you address a divine feminine woman. That's how you talk to a man. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Fix your, I would tell him to fix his lips right so the right words come out so that I will want to be in contact with him. If you're talking to me like that, I, I, I'm sorry. 
hit me up when you free so we can catch up. Okay, is that your friend? Is that your childhood friend that you've known all your life? Because if that's a man that's trying to impress you, it's not working. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle, okay? Talking to women should be an art. You shouldn't talk to a woman the same way as you talk to some random dude, okay? Put some put some respect on <laughs> He said, I'm never free. Exactly. See, don't talk to me like I'm one of the guys because I'm, too, I'm more expensive than them. All right. Uh oh, Lotus Healing Sprinkle Sprinkle. What do you say to a guy that says, hit me? Okay, I already asked, answered that. I don't say anything. I look at him like I look behind me to make sure he talk, He ain't talking to somebody else. And then I look right back at him. And I'm like, I know you ain't talking to me. Sparkle, sparkle. All right. I don't respond to stu stu stupid uh, sentences like that. The reason being is because I deserve more respect than some random, uh, you know, guy that he sounds like he's talking to. <laughs> Here you go. Do men know who they are without women? Um, you mean like on the Barbie movie? I don't know. Go to a male prison and find out. I don't know. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, anyway. Can someone remain in their feminine while have little to down, no downtime and they save money? Yes, you can do that as long as you have a, a, a goal in mind and that you stay focused on that goal. And if that goal is a reflection of your divine, you know, feminine purpose. Yes. Oh, Devon, thank you again. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Appreciate that. For if I want dinner reimbursed. Thank you. Thank you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I appreciate that. You said Barbie was a great movie. Mm -hmm. uh, he's just kidding. <laughs> Discuss dark matter suggestions. Okay. So dark matter represents the womb. The God particle, you know, uh, the void, all of that, the woman. I feel like a lot of you guys probably saw that Cat Williams thing and um, where he started talking about how he surround himself by women. He, you know, all this kind of stuff. He got women on his team and this, 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 this and that. Um, his tours, the dark matter tour, you know, he's been doing some reading, some research and he know where it all go back to. He know who got him. He's not afraid of anything because the reason why he's speaking out so much now is because it's the divine feminine era. And people already know, like, women are, you know, women know certain things because of intuition. They have a stronger, because in, even by nature, when you get pregnant as a woman, or even if you're just taking care of a child, your senses become more alert and aware. So um, you can protect your child. So you can smell more to make sure the food that, that they're eating or milk that they're drinking is not bad. You're more alert to keep the child safe because now it's not just keeping yourself safe, but uh, someone else. So your frequency literally rises. Your level of awareness increases and rises when you become a mother, when you're a woman. So you have more, you know, you got more of an alert system than other people that, you know, that don't have that. So if you want to get your divine feminine energy and um, your alert system up and your uh, frequency and your awareness up, I, that's why I have my elixirs. You know, I, I linked it at the top and in the description bar. Start with phase one full ounce, half ounce if you can't afford the full ounce and then just get the, 
the next time that you can afford to get the other half of the ounce. But it's full ounces recommended. So if y'all want to go to my Etsy store and get the elixirs, you just click on them, start with phase one. What they do is um, they heighten your awareness of certain things, heighten your energy, heighten your frequency so that you're able to do more and be more creative, be more of a get up and, you know, go getter instead of, you know, always, you know, feeling a certain way. It, it reminds you of who you are and it allows you to, you know, become your best divine feminine self. And for men, it is the same thing for you. It gives you more of an energy, a frequency, an awareness that allows you to, you know, become, you know, more recognized in your divine masculine. And it also helps you with a lot of stuff, like if you're stuck and um, needing to have more motivation, more energy. Da, 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 da. Okay. If you order more than one, I'm going to give you a coupon code. You get free shipping. Okay. This. Hold on. Okay. This is the coupon code for free shipping if you order more than one bottle. Saves two. Okay. Um. But it's also in the description bar. Scroll down a little bit or it's at the top of the live. And I just posted it again. So go ahead and, and get that on my Etsy shop. Uh oh, thank you, Tori. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Appreciate you. Um, what do you, what, what do I give? What suggestions to give a woman who feels like she lacks the power to will in her life? She wrote okay. Where you can't will create, where you can't will something into action, create something into action. Start creating it. Start writing it. Start building it with your own hand if you have to. You know, just start somewhere. If you can't will it with your mind, start with your body. Anywhere. Okay? Sprinkle, sprinkle. You got to just start it, though. Um. Nikola, Te Nikola Tesla's prediction will come true. We as women will organize ourselves like TVs. Girl, we have already sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, yeah, he did predict that women would become smarter and um, more, you know, in the forefront of leading. Thank you, Kendall. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So, um, yeah, that was one of his predictions. Any hope for a 35 single mom of two with a career? Yes. Find you a rich old man so uh, he can give you all the money you need so you can do whatever you want. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> no, uh, honestly, when you are looking for a shortcut in life because you are in a situation that you don't feel like you can thrive or escape from or you don't have the time to do certain things, Find a way to make that time. Okay. So if you're going to, you're trying to date, date for benefits, ma'am. Okay. You're going to date anyway. You might as well date and thrive. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> okay. Um, you said, do I sell the Jezebel roots? Um, I have a store, an online store that's linked in the description bar. Scroll down and you'll see it. Um, it's called uh, Dark Realm Online Occult Shop. You just click on there. Mm -hmm. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Do you make eye contact with men when on or do you stay unbothered and they just appear? Um, if you look good, you're in the right place. If that man likes what he sees, he's going to approach you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. Also, like, as a divine feminine, our true nature is to attract, not to chase. So if you are going to really live within your divine feminine era, you don't chase anything. It all comes to you. It all revolves around you, period. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thanks for answering my question. Now to find out where old man be at. 
Well, you know, that's easy, girl. Luby's, the bingo hall, the doctor's office, the pharmacy. Sometimes they retire, they on the golf course, you know. Sparkle, sparkle. Anyway. You said the old folks home. Oh my goodness. If they in there, I don't know if you can get some of their money, ma'am. They might they might be unable to give you the funds if they're in the old folks home. Okay. You said it seems like a lot of celebrities are exposing what's going on in the industry. And I've heard people saying this is the time age of Aquarius. Are these two things correct? People are exposing what's going on in the industry because so many people started doing it and they're not afraid because people understand symbolism now. That's that Knowledge is very powerful. If you understand symbolism and every time you see a quote unquote certain celebrity out and they have on a certain symbol or doing a certain symbolic thing, you know what it means. And so there is no more secrets once they're able to interpret symbols. There is no more secrets. So if everybody can interpret a, a dang symbol, there ain't no more secrets. So, you know, when I start this channel, you know, I start off talking about this, this and that and teaching symbolism and all this kind of stuff. Because with, when you see a symbol, that is a secret right there. If most people don't know what the symbol means. But if everybody starts to learn what the symbol is, then you can't have that no more. It's already if if you've been posting up stuff with certain symbols in it from your past, you've exposed yourself. So if you literally expose yourself by using symbols and all that kind of stuff, then nobody can truly expose you. You don't want to put the symbol out. You don't want to put the code words in there. You don't want that said all this, this, and that. So you literally expose yourself. You can't get mad at somebody for reading the symbolism. Okay. <laughs> Therefore, that's just, that's all it, what it was. When people start the age of Aquarius, it's like when people start understanding the symbolism, when the knowledge is everywhere and spread through the air, which is a, Aquarius is an air symbol, an air sign, through the waves and the frequency and the internet, when people can now learn at a faster rate at what symbols mean, then everything is exposed, okay? Okay. You said people think literacy is words. No, nope. there's different types of literacy. Symbolic literacy, word interpretation, phrase interpretation, um, just so many spelling interpretations. There's so many different things that you can interpret. Now, that doesn't mean what you interpret is 100% true unless that person over and over and over, you know, puts this symbol or symbolic thing in their work and the context clues add up to the same thing each time. That's how you kind of, you know, decode things. So a lot of people have just decoded things and it all checks out. This is why people aren't really being exposed. They're just, they've just posted their own symbols. Okay. Uh oh, rosiness, sprinkle, sprinkle. So it was kind of like laughing in someone's face when you are doing something right in front of someone's face with all these different symbols and da 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 da. da. One day someone is going to figure it out. So it's kind of like that part in the Bible where it says if you eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, then you'll be like God and know what God knows, right? So it's kind of like that. When you learn the symbols and when you learn the knowledge of, you know, the good and the evil, 
then you're going to know exactly what they're talking about, what they're saying, what they're trying to tell you without telling you, what they're telling their friends who also know the same symbol. There's not going to be any, any more um, hidden symbolism. This is going to be what it is. Mm -hmm. You asked a man for money. He said, shame for me. Well, shame. He can't, he can't afford you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, the church asks for money all the time. Should the church be shamed? Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. The pastor up there begging for money every Sunday. Should he be shamed? Then I ain't finna be shamed either. Because I am how everybody got here. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm going to ask for what I want. I'm going to tell you what I want. I ain't even going to ask. Okay. Without me, you wouldn't even be here for me to ask you or tell you to give me anything without women in general. <laughs> you said men are always asking for something. That's the game. Yep. How to be more graceful act. You said passing that plate with no shame. Exactly. So uh, that's why that's why I'm not ever going to be ashamed of requiring the most. Ever. You can you could call me everything, but you will never call me broke. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> okay. Am I being mean to women? Oh, why would I be mean to anybody? I'm just talking how I normally talk. <laughs> I'm sorry that I don't script out my videos and my reactions are true. You know, there are some people who are afraid of what other people think. And so they script out their videos. They tiptoe around subjects. They don't like to say certain things because they're afraid to offend people. Why even speak then? Oh, Laurel, sprinkle, sprinkle, thank you. Why even speak if you can't say what you want? All right. <laughs> Makes no sense. Okay. Make sure as a divine feminine, you never lose your voice and your ability to speak without worrying about what other people are going to think of you. Because that's one of your most powerful things, is your voice. Um, so make sure you use it for your benefit. Also, like, there are times to speak and what times not to speak because you're listening and learning and gathering information. So make sure you also know when to shut up and when to listen. Okay. Um, this man at work kissed you because he was drunk. What? And you reported him and asked for a mental health stipend. Always speak up, sprinkle, sprinkle. Ari, Ariel or Ariel? Hilarious. So, you know, um, yeah, if you feel disrespected, let people know. Don't just sit there and take it. Like, for example, 
that's one of the reasons that I don't work in the industry that I used to work in a long time ago, because it was, you know, very uh, disrespectful. Um, it was a male dominated industry that was very disrespectful towards me. And this was before all that, you know, sexual harassment stuff got super serious. And, you know, da, 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 da. even though it is super serious, you don't want to gather a reputation of, you know, filing for stuff all the time because people said something wrong to you or whatever. So even in the workplace, if, if you want women to thrive and work because you don't want her to, you know, sit there and live off of you as a man and she can't even go to the workplace without being harassed, she might as well go get harassed by a man and get paid, you know, from somebody else that actually she's dating. <laughs> That's what I said in my video of why, you know, Women are having to put up with a lot of stuff like sexual harassment at work. You might as well get put up, you know, uh, with sexual harassment by someone you're dating and getting paid with more and not having to clock in and even go nowhere. <laughs> at least it'll be by your own choice. You know what I'm saying? So. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. Any recent insights from your research on transmutation, universal law? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Honestly, it all goes back to the woman still, like universal law. That's woman. Um, anything that um, anything that you can think about it, it all goes back to the divine feminine. So, for example, um, taking something that is nothing and transmuting it into something that is uh, valuable and positive. That's just a woman giving birth, <laughs> okay? This is just a woman growing a child in her womb. And when, when alchemists try to recreate, you know, the elixir, um, the, uh, the essence or whatever, whatever, uh, it's how a woman literally feels while creating life in her womb, giving birth, raising a child, and da, da 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 It's everything. You know, it's it's the psychology used to raise children. It's the growth of the a fetus and the child in the womb. It's the making the best out of uh, something. Uh, it's it's all of those things. It's every stage that you go through, your, uh, the humility of growing, your body changing, giving birth, be, being, um, you know, with two heartbeats at the same time, having two brains, two hearts inside you at the same time, becoming a mother, um, becoming a, a figure of, you know, uh, authority, um, feeling what it feels like to create life, um, being healed and renewed by your child, because literally the child, uh, blood heals and, um, cleanses, you know, the mother through her, bloodstream. Uh, it's just another version of pregnancy without having a baby. It's a mental and spiritual and psychological version of what a woman goes through when she gets pregnant. That's all that that alchemy is. It always goes back to the woman. That's why they create an elixir. Because an elixir is a liquid, which is feminine by nature. Elixir of life. Okay. So we already go through it naturally. We may have learned and studied the alchemy and all these things that men wrote, but we were the, always their inspiration. Okay. What a man can't experience on their own, they try to recreate and experience it through different senses. Um, <laughs> if you're using the power of suggestion, what are the steps when you perform your suggestion magic? Tell them what you want, ma'am. Tell them what they gonna do. Look into their eyes. Say their name, put your hand on their shoulder and speak in a, a soft, relaxing voice and tell them what they're going to do. 
That's all you gotta do, girl. That's it. And smell good and look good. <laughs> okay. You heard women lead the 5D, men lead the 3D. Makes sense to me. How do you channel of emotion? How do I channel emotion of anger into creating lucrative concepts for yourself? Um, people that get angry that need to channel their energy. Um, write, write, write. A lot of musicians do this. They write songs and they're angry, or they write movies if they're a, a screenplay writer, or they write letters or poetry. Write. Write it out. Um, read what you wrote. You might have an idea. Something creative might come from that. You never know. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, how to deal with feelings jealous. Um, if it doesn't make you money, it doesn't make sense. So if that feeling doesn't lead to any money, why are you feeling it? <laughs> so, for example, let me let me explain that. It's not going to benefit you in any way. What you can do is improve yourself to where whatever made you feel that way in the first place no longer makes you feel that way. And you will actually laugh for even feeling that way in the past because now you leveled up so much that now it's just ridiculous. Think about this. Some of you dated some dusties back in y'all's past and you were jealous of whoever you thought, you know, he was dealing with. And now you wouldn't even acknowledge his presence. That's how you do it. You level up so much, whatever you was jealous of in the first place or thought you was jealous of in the first place, you can actually go back and laugh about it. That's how you handle it. And you think about this. One day I'm going to be laughing at myself for even having this stupid thought because I'm better than this. So. <laughs> so think about that. Like, I'm not. Don't waste your time being jealous. Waste your time getting better, so that whatever you thought you was, thought you were jealous of is now a joke. Okay. Mm hmm. Create new timelines by timelines by leveling up. I take it. Yeah. It's always. You always got to be looking to the next thing. Always doing something better. Don't look at what you can't have. Look at what you know you can go get. Because that might not be for you. That dusty might not be the answer that you are looking for. If you're sitting there manifesting a good life, money, wealth, and you're sitting over there crying over some dusty man and being jealous of him and his pygmisha, then guess what? That's not the path that you're trying to get on. You're not trying to go down the dusty road. You're trying to go down the road that leads to success. And you can't be jealous of some dusty and his pygmesia if you're trying to get to the road to success. So leave it alone. Let them have each other. <laughs> okay, because some of y'all sitting over here literally crying over a man that 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 can't even apply and get a credit card. Y'all are sitting over here crying over a man who can't even be approved for a lease on an apartment. Leave them to leave them to themselves. Don't be jealous of no man that can't do the most for you. <laughs> now, if you are going to be in your divine feminine, you need to you need a divine masculine to represent by your side. That means no dust. Okay, how's the divine feminine going to sit around and walk around with somebody? on their side that can't do nothing they can't they can't brag about them they can't do nothing but make excuses for them no divine feminine needs divine masculine period and divine masculine don't care if you know who you are because they know who you are and that's it so honor yourself by not dealing with anything less than what you know you're supposed to be dealing with okay every choice that we make as a divine feminine is a reflection of how we feel about ourselves 
Do you feel like you don't deserve a better situation? That's why you keep choosing wrong. You have to feel like you deserve more in order to choose better. Same with guys. Like you for divine masculine. Men who are in their divine masculine know the type of woman that are divine feminine, and that's what they go towards. Because in order to be in his divine masculine, he has to be with a woman who's in her divine feminine. Otherwise, he will never reach his divine masculinity if he's dealing with pygmation now. And what I mean by that is if, if you don't respect yourself as a woman, if you don't know who you are, if you don't demand the respect and the honor and have the standards of a divine feminine goddess, then how can a man ever become his God self or God status on, on your side if you are not your goddess status? You, you can't ever motivate him to get to the next level because you don't even approve of yourself. So that's why you have to know who you are. What are some masculine traits that a single independent female woman would need to have? Some masculine traits. Um, well, I feel like it's always smart to know how to defend yourself just in case you know you ever need that. And also, you know, to reason, to be able to reason logically. But I definitely feel like you need to know how to defend yourself, uh, reason logically, and, you know, uh, see yourself as divine. Okay. No, you said you even talk in a peaceful way with a masculine man than Dusty's because the conversation is totally different. It is. Most Dusty's will start off by attacking verbally, verbally abusing you and all those type of things because of whatever reason, you know, but a masculine man will start off with respect. They will not talk to you like, you know, you're on the street or just some random dude, they will talk to you with respect and they will, um, you know, acknowledge that you are, you know, a feminine woman and they're not going to treat you like a dusty would. Okay. Because, yeah. Someone says insecure. Exactly. Men who are in their divine feminine treat women like they're in their divine. Feminine. I mean, women get treated better by men who are in their divine masculine than they do a dusty who's not. Okay. You said they know they're losers. Exactly. They already come in expecting you to shoot them down. So they're in defense mode. Okay. If you're, if you're approaching a woman in defense mode already, if you're calling her out of her name, if you're treating her disrespect with disrespect, if you're talking to her, like you're talking to some random dude, you already lost. She's not responding well to that unless she doesn't know who she is. So, mm -mm. I'm trying to decide if he's a dusty girl. He's a dusty. If you try to decide, <laughs> if you got to question it. He probably is. Your dusty ex was in constant fear of me leaving him for a provider. Well, he should be, because he know he ain't doing right. He knows only a matter of time. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You know, <laughs> and let me tell y'all something. People got mad at me because they say, oh, you over here calling men dusty, you evil, you're this. No, I, I'm not the first person to call a man a dusty. Read your Bible. Oh, Olivia, sprinkle, sprinkle. A bit off topic, but Shira, could you please do a spell tutorial to get your partner to be and remain loyal to me? No, sprinkle, sprinkle. If you want a partner to remain loyal to you, remain loyal to yourself. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That is the key. If you want your partner to remain loyal to you, remain loyal to yourself, first and foremost. And don't worry about what he's doing. Remain loyal to your bank account. Remain loyal to yourself. Remain loyal to keeping yourself as a priority instead of worrying about what he's going out to do. Make sure your pockets are full with his money and your money. And if you suspect that he's doing anything, cut him off in the bedroom, ma'am. 
and get a gift out of it. Make him pay for his forgiveness if he mess up. If you got to do spells and stuff to make a man loyal, I'm, I'm getting paid. I ain't finna do no spells or teach you how to do no spells to keep your man loyal. I'm teaching you how to get paid when your man is disloyal. Okay? Because he, you're going to be sitting there doing spell after spell, not respecting your divine feminine and getting your money. Okay? Every time he mess up, you get paid. That's the spell. A money spell. Sprinkle spray. Every time you mess up, he got to buy you a gift. Every time he mess up, you got to put some money in your pocket. Every time he mess up, he got to pay if he wants your forgiveness. If he don't care about your forgiveness, if he don't care enough and respect you to even care about if you forgive him or not, then guess what? You need to leave. Unless he's paying all the bills, then go get you one on the side, man. Because I'm not getting ready to do no spells to make no dusty man loyal. Even if he's rich, then you should be getting even more money. Let that man pay you. That's what I would do. Do what you want to do. I'm still getting paid. When I leave, I'm going to leave with more than I came in with and with options. <laughs> okay. Money spell, man. Think about yourself, not him. You can't make a man loyal. <laughs> But I guess if he has to pay you every time he's disloyal, he might make himself loyal. Okay. Kind of like that late fee, you know? You late on something, they charge you extra. So you don't be late no more. Okay. How do you deal with jealousy from women on a dated? I don't. I don't know any women. If you know, if you know too many women and they're all jealous of you, then stop knowing them. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> never, never know. Like I would never, I would never know if anyone, because I don't hang around too many people. I don't let people. I'm, I'm not really a people person, so. I'm a people person when I want to be, but I don't need people in my life to feel relevant unless I want them there. You know what I'm saying? So if you're in a situation where you're at work and you have to deal with these people, just ignore them or just play dumb. And if they're not paying your bills, they're not benefiting you in any way, then ignore them. That's their problem, not yours. They don't, they have the problem. You don't have the problem. You got the solution. That's why they mad. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Think about it. You don't have a problem. They have the problem. You are the solution. That's it. Tips to remove stagnation and or slow process. Uh, start moving. Get, start moving in some type of way. Mentally, physically, emotionally. Whatever, just start moving, doing something to get to the next level. Um, you got a jealous woman that try to start things with you, even at the doctors or at the vet or the grocery store. Girl, just act like you can't hear and get your earbuds, get your headphones, and, and and nobody will try to talk to you, man. I promise you. I walk in there with them ear earphones and them earbuds in my ear, nobody talking to me. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. Ignore them. Get you some sunglasses, put them on. Get you some earbuds, put them in, and keep it, keep moving. Anybody got time to be dealing with people for no reason and not getting paid? Okay. Let me ask y'all something. Divine feminine era. Do divine feminine goddesses deal with what they don't want to deal with? No, they don't. They simply ignore and they keep it moving. They stay unbothered, man. <laughs> what do you do when your daughter and sister are jealous? They're like, I just feel sorry for them that that's their problem and it's not mine. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You know, you never allow people to make you feel any sort of way because they have a problem. That's not your problem. Set it down. Put it down and keep doing what you do. 
set that problem down because it is not yours. It is their problem. Get it? Y'all need to stop taking people's problems and making them your own. They're not yours. If y'all had to hold on to every person's problem that you put on yourself, you're going to weigh yourself down. Stop putting them problems on you. <laughs> Better them than you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You will be fine. Exactly. Like, girl, I, you jealous? I won't even know. You know why? Because that's not my problem. It's yours. You will know, but I won't. You know why? Because I'm too busy doing what I do. That's how you have to think. That's divine feminine. We don't care. We do what we want and we continue to, to move. And if you got a problem with it, that literally is your problem. Put it in your purse. Hold on to it as long as you need to. But it ain't mine. <laughs> You're a bag lady. Exactly. It's not your problem. Stop trying to make it your problem. Okay. Shira, a guy told me he only hangs out with me to humble me. You mean he only hang out with you because he wants to humble you or you allow him to hang out with you so he can humble you? I'm like, well, I only hang out with you to eat for free. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Now he humbled. <laughs> okay. Is he feeding you? Is he even paying? Because I ain't hanging out with nobody unless they got some money being spent. <laughs> Y'all know I'm on the free food. I guess we even. Okay. Um. Yeah, how you want me to act? I can act. Keyword act. Humble. <laughs> Rich men don't care. They keep cheating. Girl, I don't care as long as they keep paying. Cheat all you want, because if I think you're cheating, you ain't getting none of this, but you're still going to be paying. <laughs> that's how, that's the mentality you need to have. Like, if you're the divine feminine. You call the shots, ma'am. Period. Without women, they don't have nobody to cheat with, unless they're cheating over there with men. I mean, you really can't compete with that, so you might as well just collect your money and be their beard. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You don't, don't sleep with them. Be their beer. Collect your money, man. Keep it moving. Um, uh, how a divine feminine woman should protect her energy? By knowing first and foremost that she is divine feminine energy herself. And you don't need any protection at all if you are the source. If you are if you are where life comes from, if everything is made up of your essence, you're good. Protect yourself by knowing thyself. That's it. So, for example, I might say a lot of controversial things, but I walk around feeling like I'm right. And that is the divine feminine way. Oh, Haley, sprinkle, sprinkle. Appreciate you. Thanks for the super sticker. Always know yourself. That way you don't feel like you need protection from anything if you're correct, if you're right. That's it. Okay. What? A uh, Shira star. A uh, Shira star. Two words. The makeup, the beauty channel. Yeah. It's old. I haven't posted there for a while. How can I know myself? What should I do to know myself? Know that you are divine feminine and, you know, how powerful that is. Learn about that first. You know, make sure that you are aware 
of your divinity and don't deal with anything less than your standards. That's it. You said write a book about raising daughters. Sprinkle, sprinkle, girl. There's too many ways to parent. Do the best you can and make sure your kids are priority. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I, I can't write a book on it. <laughs> okay. Give them love. Listen to them. Make them a priority. Teach them that they're divine. Okay. What to do when he doesn't want to send you money for a ticket? He wants to buy it himself. I don't want to buy it. I just want to scam. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. Girl, then think of another way because that's the wrong way. <laughs> don't you have some fake dogs that need boarding in the kennel? But you got about five big dogs that need boarding. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. Do you have a favorite kind of flower? Um, I have several kinds of flowers that I really like. And it depends on the time of year and the smell of the flower and if they're real or not. You know what I'm saying? So, uh oh, Avery, sprinkle, sprinkle. You're on payroll to make three calls a week for sugar daddy, but I be stressed because he wants to meet up and talk work. It's super easy. I don't want to meet. I work from home and get a full salary. I'm trying to hang in there, but I am I crazy? Okay. So meet near a shopping center, meet near an ATM, meet in a restaurant or a cafe near your favorite shop. And let it escalate from there. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Make it worthwhile, man. Meet in a restaurant inside of a mall. That way you can go out and go shop after. Meet at a restaurant where an ATM is right outside. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Here you go. Uh -huh. Should you accept your ex who is a cheater and rude to me, but he wants he was the best provider and wanted to marry me? Girl, I would be cheating and being rude right back to him. But then taking his money. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That's not the goal. You see, the divine feminine is not going to be a victim. <laughs> She's going to show you who she is. That's it. It's not cheating unless he's playing you, okay? If you say someone is cheating on you, that means it's a game in the first place. You mean they decided to do what they actually wanted to do without your knowledge? Then go do the same thing. <laughs> okay. What is your favorite alchemy and magic books? I have so many books that I like. There are a lot of books on the divine feminine. There are lots of books on goddesses. I like reading about goddesses because most ancient religions, even pagan religions, uh, start off with a goddess figure because that's where life comes from. So any book that you read is always going to be an imitation of bringing life and goddess and magic and all that kind of stuff. I'm not saying men don't have their role. Uh, and the masculine part of it, but I'm saying like it's all going to date back to the the mother goddess. So that's where everything comes from. That's where manifesting. That's where spells, witchery, witchcraft, uh, sorcery, herbalism, all goes back to the woman. So you know everything that you probably know and learned came from women. And men, of course, expound upon it, research it, do the math, do the science. Prove it, do this, do this, do this, do this, come up with alchemy for the same thing as childbirth. You know, it's it's all the same thing. We're just trying to experience ourselves through ourselves. And the masculine tries to experience, um, you know, what it is to be a divine feminine through science and alchemy. So whatever, whatever makes you, you know, figure things out, 
and feel good about yourself. That's all you need to be doing. How do female coworkers that make you feel masculine when she makes you do things for her? Um, ask Amanda doing for you. Will you do that for me? Mm, I'm gonna go ask him to do it. Um, if you are not masculine yourself, People will ask the less masculine woman to do masculine things. So try your best to be more feminine, you, even in looks. Okay. How can a divine, how can the divine demons approach starting life completely over and getting finances in order? <laughs> Y'all are so silly. Um, When you recognize and honor the divine feminine, you can then know your place in, in the world and what you're supposed to be doing. And you, if you focus on that, then you're going to definitely prosper. You know what I'm saying? So if men focus on their ability to be providers at some point. Now, let's say you're a single man. You don't have a girlfriend. You don't have a wife. You have no one to provide for. You will eventually, if you ever have children or marry. So prepare. Use the time you have to prepare instead of playing around. Because the respect that you're going to get later on in life, is going to be well worth the time you're wasting now doing nothing or being frivolous. You know what I'm saying? So prepare for your future now as a man, because eventually you are probably going to get somebody pregnant. You are probably going to settle down and get with a woman or whatever, whatever. So be prepared to do so, so that you can make her happy and you can thrive and raise your children in a safe environment that, you know, is prosperous instead of not being prepared at all. Oh, testing one, two, three, sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, girl, I don't care about no dog. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm not a dog lover. <laughs> now, if it was a cat, my condolences. Um, I'm not really a dog person. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean that. You know, if your dog died, may that dog rest in pieces. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm cat woman. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. Uh, I love your alchemy and magic videos. I study all the time and say and really enjoy learning it. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I appreciate that, girl. I'm so sorry. I, I, I'm sorry for your loss, but you know what? I can't do dogs. Um... <laughs> Every time a noise, they bark in. Mm -mm. How can the divine demon approach? Okay, I already read, read that. Over. What the? I don't know if I misunderstood that question or not. Are you using that as a joke <laughs> to talk about guys? I don't know. You said cats rule, all right? How can you stop being so anxious and fearful when facing people? I appear innocent and kind and feminine, which is why I feel intimidated by others. Thank you. Okay. Don't appear, don't appear innocent and kind, appear divine and feminine. That's that's your problem. Sprinkle, sprinkle. When you enter the room, you are a presence, ma'am. Period. Make up, make sure you look good, smell good, stand tall, and demand your respect as a divine feminine woman. Okay. Don't nobody care about all the insecurities and stuff like that. Do you know who you are? How to improve your appearance via spiritual practices. Get up in the morning, brush your teeth, comb your hair, wash your face, put on some makeup, do your hair. And listen to some spiritual videos while you're doing it. There you go. Sprinkle, sprinkle. 
All right. Um. Think of yourself how you want to be seen. That's another way. Imagine yourself how you would like to be seen and, and have that energy about you. Do you have any tips on anxiety? Nope. Don't have no anxiety. <laughs> sure. Do you think it's possible to charge enchant our cosmetic products to attract things? Yes, money. <laughs> <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. Get you some money stones. And put it on top of your makeup. There you go. Attract some money. Can you please share some beauty spells? Yes, there are on my playlist and the um, spell section. Sheer is the biggest blessing for us all. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You said cats remind you of the divine feminine. They embody the traits of such. I've always noticed that men who like cats tend to treat women better. Mm -hmm. Sheer, could you please answer my question? I need your advice. Uh, you should have asked the question again. There's too many people. <gasps> Let's see. I don't know. I don't see it. Anyway. Can you make a love spell jar for yourself for self-love? You could do whatever you want, ma'am. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> All right. Do you... You can do whatever you want. Y'all are the divine feminine. Y'all create all of this. So do what you want. That's what I do. I don't need permission. Who are you asking permission from? Are you asking instruction or permission? Because you don't need the permission. Okay. Oh, somebody cash at me. Hold on. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay, Kendall. That was you a while back. Um, Dulcie Marie. Thanks for teaching us about womanhood. Um, sprinkle, sprinkle. Appreciate you, girl. How can the divine feminine approach starting life completely over and getting finances in order plus weight loss? Okay. By deciding to. By making a, a conscious decision to do so. Sprinkle, sprinkle. But honestly, why are you starting all those things at the same time? What's the most important thing? Start that first. Okay. I think women tend to pile stuff and try to do too much at the same time. Whatever is the most important to you, focus on that and try to get other people to do the other things for you. So, for example, if you just go get a man and they can help you financially, if you look good. <laughs> All right. And then you can focus on the other stuff. On You have free time and energy to focus on the other stuff on your own. But always try to allow other people to give you and help you and assist you with things if it makes your life easier. Okay. Whatever is what is the most important thing to you, that's what you prioritize first. Okay. And then so on and so forth. Okay, you're 23. You used to work with some dude who eventually became your boss and became higher up. We had a bond. And I felt like we were friends, but he ghosted my message last year and I follow you but okay okay so you still chasing after a man okay that's that's understandable because you're 23 um move on ma'am and, and find a better one sprinkle sprinkle stop chasing a man who don't want you do yourself a favor and go get a better one with more money if you got him you can go get another one that is my mentality okay every time let me tell y'all something 
every time that somebody has done that or ghosted or whatever, whatever, or things didn't work out, I, I just went and got a better one. Do the same. Uh oh, you get a provider, you're ugly. And, okay. How do you get a provider if you're ugly and really dark? Okay. Ask a dark woman who has gotten herself um, hair, makeup, or whatever she needed to do to improve her looks. Okay. Get somebody that doesn't care about your looks. I don't know. Why are you asking me this question? Do you feel like you are ugly because you say you're ugly? There are men out here who can totally transform themselves into a drag queen and look better than any beauty queen pageant. There's no such thing as ugly. You only lazy. Sprinkle, sprinkle. There is no such thing as ugly. It's only such thing as lazy. Okay? You got people that wake up in the morning looking like who did it and why and go sit in a chair and let people do their hair and makeup and wigs and then they, they on national TV. And you sitting over there watching them every morning. Okay. Look, there's no such thing as ugly. It's like wake up two hours early, learn how to do your makeup, get you a wig, and do your best, ma'am. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I don't think it matters what color you are. I think it matters how you how well you take care of yourself. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. How long should you wait for a man for him to pay? Now, if you have several options, you shouldn't have to wait very long because if one don't pay, the other one will. Okay. People will preach all day. Don't put all your eggs in one basket, but then only date one broke, dusty man. Take your own advice, people. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Have more than one. Have options. Have several streams of income. Okay. Same thing with guys. You're the divine feminine. You can do that. Okay. How do you make an unbinding spell? I feel like my baby father put blockages in my way. A man can't ever block a woman, ma'am. You're the divine feminine. What are you talking about? Only mentally. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Because you don't know who you are. Once you realize, look at the title. Divine feminine error, nothing can block you. Because you are the way. The way they got here. The way they became a son. The way they became a father. Nobody can block you. What are you talking about? Sprinkle, sprinkle. You're a woman. Okay. Once that clicks in your mind, there's no blockage. The only way he's blocking you is if you allow him to. Is it bad to let him know that you have another suitor? Yeah, it's bad. Lie to him and c collect his money too. <laughs> and the reason why I'm saying this is because you know they lie to you. Um, if you want to be good, wholesome, divine, honest woman, then you're going to have to deal with that type of man. If you are not dealing with that type of man, you can't be that type of woman. Let me repeat that. If you are not dealing with a divine, masculine, honest man, you cannot be a divine, feminine, honest woman. You can't. So unless that's what you're dealing with, that's what you cannot be. <laughs> if if what if he came back i would not take him back so you're not chasing okay well then don't worry about him we'll worry about how you're gonna get some money and a better man or become your best self right and sprinkle sprinkle you wish you was more like me, you damaged goods, and you can seem to upgrade the merchandise. Nobody is damaged goods. Who told you you was damaged goods? Even Amazon and Walmart take back damaged goods and resell it. Okay? If you label yourself something 
and you speak that into your own existence, then that's what you are. Nobody's a damaged good. You know what? Every month, a woman who um, menstruates um, sheds her old lining and grows a new one and drops eggs and is prepared to create life. Okay. You're not damaged goods. What you are is stupid for believing anyone who told you that. Okay. Because anybody who wants to down someone or oppress someone will always try to make them feel like, okay, you're, they're unworthy. If you are the divine feminine and you are the reason that they hear and that they're breathing and that their lungs had a place to develop to even speak against you, then honestly, why are you listening to that crap? If the very breath in your throat I, that came out your lungs that a woman's body helped develop, don't talk to me. <laughs> this is how you have to feel about yourself as a woman. This is how you demand respect without saying a word. This is, how, this is the energy that you have to have as a frequency, which means you know yourself. You know who you are. Your divine feminine knowledge radiates. Okay, so if I know that the very mouth you speak out of and the very lungs that are spewing whatever it is that it's spewing out to, to form words to talk trash to me, a woman made, there's nothing you can say to me. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay, that's it. Done. So, this is why when, when guys talk to you, this is why I have quick responses. This is why I can shut them down so easy. This is why I say what I say and don't care. And I, that's why I stay unbothered because I know who made you. <laughs> it wasn't yourself. All right. And it wasn't a man. So I already know. I, I'm always above you in every way. Think about that. When you are pregnant, you always above, male or female, whoever in the womb, you always above them. You are always above them. Okay. So remember who you are and don't let people speak to you that way. I've seen so many women get disrespected, talk trash to online, guys just verbally abusing them all online, trying to make their point and they forgot where they came from. The very, the very air, the very lungs that you speak and spew out of, a woman created that. So whatever you said to me, all I heard was your mama. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. And without her, you wouldn't be here. So go home and thank your mama, buy her a nice gift, and go ahead and figure out what's wrong with you. <laughs> um. Could you do more videos on how to decode? Um, I have so many videos on how to decode. Once you learn the basics of decoding, you can go from there by yourself. You'll start to see. Just get some get some books on symbols. That's number one. And mm -hmm. you got you cut off a dusty for calling you fat. He sent you a hundred messages from three different numbers and even wrote me an apology song. Okay. Good for him. Do he got some money? Is he gifting you something? Because I need more than that. You gotta pay for you gotta apologize with cash. I don't want your song. I don't want your messages. Give me the cash. If you start making guys pay for when they mess up, they'll mess up less. I've learned this. <laughs> you should too. Okay. It fills your heart with immense joy to witness your live presence. Your divinity shines brightly, serving as an ex exemplary beacon of inspiration. Oh my God, that's a mouthful. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, <laughs> he says, 
said it fills your wallet with immersed joy. Even Tupac respected Divine Feminine in his song, Keep Your Head Up. Mm -hmm. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay, let me tell y'all a secret. Any, okay, y'all ready? Any person, let's say any person that wants to honor the Divine Feminine in a major way, A lot of times people don't want that because when the woman realizes who she is, she can shut everything down. So you have a lot of people trying to work against women knowing who they are and feeling their best and thriving in this society. Da, 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 da. And you have a lot of people that makes, um, you know, make it difficult for even men who want to honor the divine feminine to even do that. They'll make up names for them, call them this, call them that, and, you know, shame them, try to make them look crazy or silly or like or this, 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 and that. But the truth is, if you have to fight that hard, it's because someone is trying to honor their mother or the divine feminine or their wife or their sister, then obviously you're scared of something because they already know women all have... A, a higher level of intuition and they can see more than most men and they're afraid of what's going to be seen through the eyes, through the instruction of a woman. Okay. Good. If you're a man and you talk with women and especially if it's a spiritual woman and you get Adjust, you know, you get a little glimpse of how she sees, how she interprets things, how she sees symbols, how she talks to people, how she can read a room, how she can, you know, interpret lots of things and her intuition. You're going to start to see the same pattern. And a lot of people are afraid of that. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Because they start to see the hidden symbols. Oh, thank you, Shawanda. Thank, thank you for the donation. I appreciate you. I got to go um, in a little while. So if y'all have any questions, y'all go ahead and ask. Hold on, let me get the, see if she has a question in the cash app. Thanks. Oh, uh, sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you. You said they always demonize a woman's power. That means they're scared. Of course it does. But see, the thing is, a woman already has power. She don't gain it. She just realizes it. That's it. We already got power. We ain't got to gain nothing. We don't need to beg for it. We've been had it, going to keep having it, always had it. We just had to realize we had it. That's it. And when you realize something that no one can take from you, it's scary. To other people that know you realized it. Now, this is why some men are very confident with it themselves because they honor the divine feminine and they already know they're on the right side, they're on the right team. <laughs> they don't have to worry about nothing. Okay. And let me tell y'all a secret. No matter what comes out of a man's mouth, his actions always speak louder than his words on how he treats the women in his life. Let me repeat that. No matter what comes out of a man's mouth, how he treats his women in his life is what counts. You'll see some of these gangster rappers or these men who are talking about women left and right. But when you see the women in their lives, they're well. They look good. They've, they got everything they could ever want. They're pretty much respected. A lot of these guys, yeah. Gifted. Taken care of. So you can say what you want to earn your money, but make sure you know where the money's going. Back to the woman. 
Back to the children, back to the woman. <laughs> it's true, they know they bless us. And, and we fine with it. You can talk, you can talk your trash and make sure you bring us that money. <laughs> okay. When a guy messes up and come back to apologize, what's the best way of handling the situation? Make him pay. Yes, make him pay. Let's say he deeply hurt you, disrespected you with actions like ghosting. Okay. Um, make him pay, man. What should make him pay? Like you can't hurt nobody with ghosting because if you have options, you won't even realize that they have been missing. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, okay. I forget about you. Always have options. You don't have to worry about this. If you have if you have option after option after option after option, you won't even realize someone is missing. Okay. There you go. How to make spouse increase spending limit as his pay increases without looking too thirst excited. Um, require more. Upgrade your style. That means he got to upgrade whatever he giving you. Mm -hmm. You said, is it okay to text the man first? Um, if it's about getting your money, sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> if it's about getting your money, yes. It's okay. I'm getting mine. <laughs> if it's about anything else, no. If it's about getting some money, yes. What does it feel like to be spiritually full or satisfied? Is that when you reach your full divinity and no longer searching for thirst and knowledge? Sparkle, sparkle. Um, yes. It, it, I think when I was definitely um, reading a lot and doing a lot of research and stuff, it always came back to the woman. And I had to realize within myself who I was, you know, what I represent. You know, and that's when you feel like, okay. I'm good. <laughs> Everything else I learn is just going to be added bonus. Okay. Oh, Stephanie, sprinkle, sprinkle. I appreciate that. She sent me a cash app. Sowing a seed to create exponential wealth. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yes. How do I handle a man said he was too scared to sleep with you, but chased for six months? Ask him when he's coming out the closet. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Dear Shira, how to tell if you have pretty privilege? Um, if kids like you. <laughs> if you're in the store and you get special privilege, if you get stuff for free, if kids gravitate towards you, you got pretty good. Do you recommend cutting off men, other men off once you're engaged? Um, have they cut all their other women off? Do you have money in your account? Are you fully taken care of? Do you have the option of working or not? I'm not cutting nothing off until I'm my checklist is complete. Okay. Have your standards. Do you have to work? Yes. Nope. Then I'm not cutting everybody completely off. Okay, are all your bills paid? Are you out of debt? Okay, that's another one. I'm not cutting it nothing off until all my checklists have been checked. Make your checklist. Um, what are some of your favorite tarot decks? I have so many. I don't even know. I got a bunch. I got a very rare set. It's very hard to find. Um, it's a saint. It's like a Catholic saint tarot deck. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I found them um, in an old shop and they were antiques or very rare. So they're probably my most valuable set. <laughs> Did I manifest YouTube success or manifest fame? Nope. I've been on here for 10 years. 
I did what you're supposed to do. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. Keep going. Don't change the message. Keep your standards high. And eventually you'll accomplish what you set out to accomplish. <laughs> Why do you think the world is so afraid of divine feminine powers? Because we have a lot of power and we can use the power of suggestion. I mean, they use women and the power of suggestion and things like that to sell stuff. They use it to influence things. They use it to, you know, get change a lot of things, fashion. They use it to inspire music. I mean, everything. Without us, what would y'all be doing? <laughs> it's very powerful. Who controls the divine feminine? If you control yourself, even more powerful. We are us. People fear things that are stronger than them. That's why they're afraid of bears and not ants. Okay. What if you level up but still no opportunity? Opportunity presents itself when it is time. Are you prepared to accept that opportunity? Are you prepared to maintain that opportunity? You know, it's like getting a nice car that you can't afford the maintenance on or pay the payments on. Can you, Are you prepared to allow that opportunity to thrive in your life? You know what I'm saying? Prepare for an opportunity. Be able to um, keep that opportunity as an opportunity and allow it to thrive. You don't have anything for that opportunity. You don't have a way for the opportunity to grow and improve yourself in any way. If you can't maintain a certain thing, then you're not ready for it. If you're completely ready for it, then start preparing for it. Oh, angel lady one, sprinkle, sprinkle. What is the best, what is the most simplest and easiest way to attract abundance step-by-step step in your divinity? Um, know who you are. Divine feminine is abundance. Okay, you don't, all you have to do is realize it. Uh, tap into your divine creative feminine energy and ideas on how to get paid, how to get money will we'll find you. Take my elixirs that will also help increase your uh, frequency in order to get these types of ideas, okay? I had so many ideas when I slowed down and tapped into my divine feminine energy, creative energy, started creating, writing, doing poetry. So many ideas came in on top of that. That's how it's going to, it's going to come through ideas. It's going to come through suggestions. It's going to come through ideas. It's not going to just be handed to you unless that's how you're going to start no, and that's how and that's, that's how you want it. So if you want somebody to just hand you some money, why are they handing you the money? Manifest why they're handing you the money. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. Uh, prepare yourself to receive the opportunity by allowing yourself to be able to maintain the opportunity. So for example, what are you manifesting? Are your habits able to maintain the opportunity that you're manifesting? Will it be wasted on you if you do get the opportunity? If not, how do you maintain it? Sprinkle, sprinkle. Would you give some details? Okay, I just answered that like a while ago early in the video. I want to get your elixirs, but they, okay, yeah, they only sold in the U.S. because, you know, it's a liquid and a lot of people don't do shipments of all that kind of stuff overseas and all you know it's a hassle and um customs and stuff like that so you're gonna have to find you have to find somebody to buy it for you and ship it to you in their own way <laughs> because it's too much rigmarole trying to ship that stuff overseas okay do you believe in the divine feminine masculine and one human yes when you're when you're pregnant you are literally, especially if you're pregnant with a male child, you are literally the divine feminine and masculine and one human physically. Then in your mind, when you start, like, think about this, when you're a woman and you, let's say you talk to a man 
and you learn how they think. This is what marriage kind of is. You learn how they think. They learn how you think. Um, if they're not there and you said, OK, well, what would such and such do in this situation? And what would I do now? Combine the two and there you go. Honestly, that's what marriage is for, to get you to think on both sides uh, as masculine and feminine balance. A lot of people uh, don't need marriage to do that. Um, they can use, you know, it could be anybody. It could be a friend. It could be just someone that you're used to talking to and communicating with. And you learn how they think uh, on the masculine side or the feminine side, which, whichever one you need. Do I believe in soulmates? I believe in um, getting my money, ma'am. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Do you recommend plastic surgery for level up? I recommend whatever you need, you think you need for level up. I really don't recommend people getting surgery and risking their life if they don't have to. How do you feel about what's meant for you will be for you and what's not meant for you? What do you want? Then go get it. Sprinkle, sprinkle. What you want, go get it. If people waited on stuff to come to them all the time. Look, what I'm saying, I'm not talking about go get a man. I'm talking about do what it takes to get what you want, to attract what you want. Okay? Do what it takes to attract what you want. That is that simple. Let's think about this. You have all these shops. You have all these stores. What do they do to attract customers? That's all you got to do. Oh, Sharita, sprinkle, sprinkle. Thanks for being a member. Attract what you want. Working in the club for fast money to go to school, girl, do what you got to do. I don't know. Sprinkle, sprinkle. For me, I'm just taking an easy ride and getting a sugar daddy. <laughs> I ain't gonna do no extra, extra work. You can do that until you meet one. When you meet one, girl, quit that job. Save your money. Start a business. All right. I always say this, and I'm not trying to put anybody down. There are smart women. There are women who read a lot. There are women who read different types of books. There are women who look good. There are women that can get stuff without taking out one stitch of clothes. There are women who can do stuff without sleeping with a man because they're smart. I say study that if you're going to study anything. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> okay. In divine feminine energy, the same as receiving energy. Now, the divine feminine energy is a frequency. Uh oh, Miss Goddess K, sprinkle, sprinkle. How do you just stay locked in your sister, ignored all my family, and work so hard? I want to win, huh? Honestly, have a priority and have a goal. And keep going until you reach it. That's literally it. Do something every day to get to it. And eventually you're going to get down. That's it. I mean, that's what I'm going to do. Even if you don't have a major goal, make small little goals. Do you feel like you can manifest bad things to happen to you subconsciously? Nope. I always say, you know, before, before you get into any type of manifestations or spells or doing all this kind of stuff, if you're scared and doing all that stuff, just make sure that you never mess yourself over. Do that first. Manifest and never manifest against yourself and always for the greater good of yourself and those that you love. And so no matter what you do, it's always going to work in your favor, period. That way, whatever you do, you already know it's, gonna, oh, it's all going to work out to your benefit and those that you love. So you are never going to have to worry. You don't have to worry about it. 
You, you're not even going to worry about manifesting anything negative because whatever you manifest is for your good and for the good of the ones you love. So manifest that first and stop worrying so much about the other stuff. Because if you're in the divine feminine, you don't need to be worried. That's like getting, that's like having a baby and you're pregnant. If you're constantly worried about what you're doing right as a pregnant woman or as a mother, am I doing this right? Am I, you're overexerting yourself. Just it's a natural thing. You know, do what you're supposed to do and you should be good enough. Don't sit there and overexert yourself worrying about stuff that hasn't happened, won't, might not happen. Just say, you know what? I'm a woman. Women have done this for ever since they've been on the planet. Hopefully this, you know, this is going to be the best pregnancy ever. Um, and start decorating your baby room. Um, you can be pregnant with ideas. You can be pregnant with business ideas. You could be pregnant with money making ideas. You could be pregnant with a novel that you have to write out on paper. So when you start thinking about things, think of it as a process instead of fear. OK, everything is a process. So make sure you're not sitting there worried about something that's not even happening or part of the process plan. OK. <laughs> so, you know, get pregnant with an idea, get pregnant with a project, get pregnant with. Something you're getting ready to create, you know how some people call. Oh, their business, their baby, or their book, or their novel, their baby, or whatever they're creating, their baby. It's the same thing. It's a process. Okay. Mm hmm Does pregnancy dream mean anything? Probably. Decode it. Thank you so much. I was really meant to see this. Yeah, sprinkle, sprinkle. I got to go in a few minutes, y'all, but I really appreciate you guys for asking good questions, for being here. Uh, new subscribers, welcome. Um, sprinkle, sprinkle. You know, embrace your divine feminine era. Being divine feminine is more than just looking feminine. It's thinking, knowing who you really are, having standards, not accepting less than what you know you're supposed to have, and, you know, having your the respect that you're supposed to have. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.